Mainz coach Bo Svensson welcomed Markus Weinziel and Augsburg to the Meva Arena. Mainz had lost three in a row, while the visitors had taken just one point from three games, although they had prevailed in five successive meetings with the 0-5er. Mainz didn't give Augsburg time to settle, and ten minutes in they took the lead through Karim Onisivo, albeit helped by a horrific mistake from Robert Gumni. Six minutes later, it was veteran defender Stefan Bell who swept the ball home, an accomplished piece of finishing by the 30-year-old. That after a player nine years his junior, Jonathan Burkhardt, had helped the ball on its way. There was no let-up, and Burkhardt was to make his first statement of the night 11 minutes later. A goal from the captain of Germany's under-21s in his 50th Bundesliga appearance. Augsburg quite simply overrun again, and another nightmare for the unfortunate Gumni. The Polish defender was replaced at half-time. Would we see more Burkhardt fireworks in the second half? Hansi Flick was probably hoping so. However, before that, there was a change to the pattern. Andre Hahn's clever ball from the right was finished off by Andy Zekiri, who had come off the bench for Augsburg. Time of the goal, 69 minutes, briefly a glimmer of hope for the Fugerstetter. But within two minutes, up stepped the star of the show, Jonathan Burkhardt, again. Onisivo set the table for him, his second assist of the night, and Burkhardt did the rest. An instinctive piece of finishing. We were watching a young player on the rise. Three goals in two matches for him to put the issue beyond all doubt. 4-1 the final score, a night to forget for Markus Weinziel, but one of joy for Mainz 05.